At a time when there is a demand by the NSC and IM and some other groups for replacement of interlocutor RN Ravi, the opposition NPF in Nagaland believes that Governor Ravi can still do the job. Talking exclusively to Northeast Life, veteran NPF leader TR Ziliang said, even though he was aware of some confusion between the NSC and IM and Ravi, he believed that things could be sorted. There seems to be a lot of confusion on the current developments. There are a lot of groups that is demanding for the replacement of the interlocutor, Mr. Arun Ravi. What is your opinion on this? We expect that uh, Arun Ravi interlocutor being assigned as governor of Nagaland. We thought that uh, it will be easier for him to assess to the people, to every section of people. So that was our hope. But no little misunderstanding between this uh, NSCM and interlocutor. That has created a little hiccup. But hopefully, they'll come to mutual understanding. And once they resume the talk, we strongly believe that uh, they'll understand each other's difficulties and then the, take the peace process forward. We still believe that he can do well uh, as governor and as interlocutor. But if there is any misunderstanding between the Naga see, uh, negotiating group and the interlocutor, then center should uh, intervene. And uh, speaking on the current situation, Ziliang said that the people of Nagaland had high expectations on the conclusion of peace talks since uh, 31st of October 2019, but the unprecedented pandemic apparently derailed the peace process. Ziliang hoped that things will fall into place very soon. How do you assess the current situation? Do you think the Naga peace talks have gone out of track? People of Nagaland, we, we had high expectation that uh, the peace talk will come to a final conclusion. Mm, since last year, 31st October. But unfortunately, due to this uh, COVID pandemic outbreak in the state, followed by lockdown and declare in many areas as containment zone, so people could not move out. So as expected, it could not be progress. The talk could not be progress. Oh. So now I hope that uh, the talk will resume. And Ziliang also attacked Chief Minister Nephew Rio for allegedly not maintaining transparency in relation to the developments related to the progress of peace talks. The opposition is being kept in dark on all issues and has never been consulted on anything, Ziliang alleged. So according to your answer, do you think that the PDA government led by the min Chief Minister Nephew Rio has failed to act as an active facilitator to the Naga peace talks? Yeah, it has not come to our expectation because we volunteer ourselves, be, be it in the Naga peace process and uh, COVID-19, the, the fight against COVID-19. Hmm. So we volunteer ourselves, but we were never consulted for any kind of policy making and we were never informed about any kind of meeting in a high level or in the district level also. We are kept in the dark. Meanwhile, Ziliang refused to believe that Governor Ravi's hard-hitting letter to Chief Minister Rio may have created any confusion. While stating that the governor should clarify on the armed group's remark, Ziliang said it is the prerogative of the state government to decide on what notification to issue with regards to profiling of kin of government employees. Ziliang felt everything can't be blamed on the governor. Well, this governor's letter to chief minister is pertaining to uh, development, yeah, yeah. corruption, law and order situation. Hmm. Uh, it, 
he did not dwell much on the uh, on the Naga peace process. So corrective measure to be brought in the state, mainly uh, he dwell on the on on the on the on the matter of this corruption and law and order situation to be brought to normalcy. So those are the points. Otherwise, uh, um, there is no misunderstanding or there is no there is no problem on Naga political issue. He did not mention much about the... The specific issues. word that he had used in that letter was, the eye-catching word was the word uh, armed groups, which had uh, uh, raised a lot of eyebrows, and which was also followed by the state government's order under the directive of the governor to uh, the government employees for self-declaration of uh, any uh, underground kings or uh, like family members. Yeah, see, as, as far as the, the profile of the government employees uh, having relationship with the underground group, this is the first of its kind. But state government, see, state government has the executive power. Governor may advise, home ministry may advise, prime minister may advise the state government. But it is state government to decide what is best for the people. So here, the cabinet decided on 3rd July and issued notification on 7th July. So they should explain why they have decided. Hmm. Well, the reason they should explain. It is good for the people or bad for the people. If it is bad for the people, why cabinet should decide? Governor may say, the Home Minister may say, anybody may say advice, but state government as executive head, the Chief Minister and Cabinet should decide.